Jason, struggled with your shot a little bit early. You missed your first six, uh, but then you catch fire. Can you just explain what kind of confidence it takes to keep shooting at a time where maybe people would be saying, stop shooting and do something else? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you put the work in, and um, I've played enough games, had enough tough shooting nights. I mean, game six last year is a prime example against Philly. Like, I couldn't hit a shot. Um, but, you know, all really, really good scores, no. Um, it just takes one. It takes one to change uh, change your momentum, change how you feel about yourself shooting the ball. Uh, and once you see one go in, you just, you know, feel a lot better about yourself. And then at the end of the first half, you hit Jalen. He hits the buzzer beater. It's a 13-4 close. What's the feeling in the locker room there after being outplayed for most of the first half, but then you go in into the locker room only down one? Yeah, I mean, Joe, Joe told us in the first half that, you know, we got outplayed. They played harder than we did. They were the tougher team, and, uh, you know, that was kind of unacceptable. But, you know, we was only down one, so we was fortunate enough to be in that spot. Uh, so we knew we had a chance. Jason, can you describe or as close as you can what you said to the official to get the tech? <laughs> to get the tech, I, don't, I shouldn't have got the tech. Uh, I mean, it's tough. It's, a, it's an emotional game, right? The, the fans can see it. Everybody watching can see it. It's, it's hard to play the game without emotion, right? And I, I understand there is a fine line and balance, but... You know, fourth quarter, we playing defense, you know, you scream, nothing crazy. Um, not even directed it towards anybody. And then for the ref on the other side to come and give me that tech, I, I, don't, I don't agree with that. It, it wasn't right. Uh, but, you know, can't go back and change it now. Were you, was that angry Tatum after that? I mean, yeah, I was mad because I, I feel like I didn't deserve that tech um, at all. And I've gotten a lot of techs in my career I know I deserve, but that wasn't that wasn't one of them. So, but do you play better angry? Uh, sometimes. So tonight would be one of those examples? Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. You said it sometimes only takes you one to get you going. Was that that four-point play that you hit? Was that the one that you think turned it around for you? Yeah. I mean, I was getting to the basket. I hit some mid-range shots. I just didn't – the three wasn't falling. And, uh, you know, the toughest shot of the night for me went in, and I guess that kind of opened things up. Um, so I'll take it. Oh. Uh, Jason, for the first half, uh, last couple of seconds left, you made assist to JV. Uh, were you planning to getting uh, engaged, pass to him, or you just kind of at the last seconds you make that decision? Yeah, it was a last second, a last second decision. Uh, went behind my back. I drew two defenders, and uh, you know I heard him call my name, trolling, trolling the play, and I just passed it to him. Jason, just thoughts on your dad becoming a head coach in the NBL? Uh, yeah, I found out um, last night. Uh, you know, I'm extremely happy for him and proud of him. Um, and that's a big, it's a big step. I know he's, you know, trying to, uh, you know, build his resume and his coaching career. Um, you know, won multiple state titles in high school, different teams, and then you know, been over in uh, Australia for the last four months, and now is, is the the head coach for the for the Hawks. Um, so I'm excited for him and, uh, you know, looking forward to him kind of changing that uh, organization around. Jason, how different has the ball movement been these last three games? And what made it change? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, we lost two games in a row. We just tried to come back and regroup, watch some film. Uh, coming home always helps. Uh, and, you know, just... Just found some energy. Ball was popping, flying around, um, and you know, finding the right guys. And you know, we've done a really good job of that the last three games. And then we talked about Drew on the court, but D White tonight. I mean, an off shooting night, but 
makes huge plays at the end of the game. What is it about him that he's able to kind of stay in it and then make a difference in the end? I mean, D.Y. is a, he's a hell of a basketball player. Uh, it's a damn shame they left him off the top 100. Like, D.Y. is so valuable. Um, we're so lucky to have him. Uh, and, you know, even even when he's not shooting the ball well, he, he makes winning plays, like getting that back tap. Uh, you know, little things like that always, you know, competing on defense, contesting shots. Uh, you know, he's, he's a hell of a player, and, uh, you know, we lucky to have him. Thank you.